Hi, I'm Elaine and one of the health and safety advisors at Peninsula. So do you employ a young worker? Have you been approached by a school or college regarding arranging a placement or work experience? Are you aware of your duties under the health and safety law and how to protect that young worker? I'm going to take you through some simple steps you need to take to ensure you're protecting your young workers from risks in the workplace. First, let's look at the definition of a young person or child. A young person is anyone under 18. A child is anyone who has not yet reached the official minimum school leaving age. Employers must be aware of particular health and safety regulations which govern the employment of children. This is covered under the Safety, Health and Welfare at Work General Application Regulation 2007. Where children and young persons are employed, legislation requires risk assessments to be carried out for the work activities in which they are engaged. The outcomes of these risk assessments must be explained to the young person, their parents or guardians, and in the case of young people on work experience, the school, the work experience organiser and the local education authorities. Consider taking into account their physical and psychological capacity and any particular needs such as health conditions or learning difficulties before allocating any job tasks. This can be done by discussing with the placement organisers or the young person's parents or guardians. You must remember that most young workers may be new to the workplace environment and be unfamiliar with jobs and the risks involved in the work. You need to provide clear instruction, sufficient training and a greater degree of supervision. This is due to their lack of experience, maturity and possibly poor perception of risks. There are some legal age limits on the use of some work equipment and machinery, such as forklift trucks and some woodworking machinery. Children below the minimum school leaving age must not be employed in industrial workplaces such as factories and construction sites, except when on work experience. And remember that you should always check with your insurance provider to confirm that a young person would be covered before offering them the job or the placement.